I'm Tracy with Hasty Bake, and this is how to do the initial burn-in on your Roughneck Barrel Smoker. For those of you who don't know, our Roughneck Barrel Smoker is the newest addition to our amazing line of charcoal grills and smokers. The awesome thing about this unit is you can get up to 18 hours of burn time in one single cook. It is amazing for backyard barbecuing, competition cooking, and everything in between. An initial burn-in is a process that you are going to want to do before you cook for the very first time. This is going to help burn off any residual oils that are still inside your grill from manufacturing. To begin the initial burn-in process, you're gonna open up your fire door and open up the front two vents that are on the front of the fire door. You're gonna line your ash pan with aluminum foil. That just helps with cleanup later. Once you put foil in your ash pan, you're gonna take a little bit of our lighter gel or a starter match and you're going to place that on top of the ash pan. You're going to fill your firebox with charcoal. Once you've filled your firebox full of charcoal, you're gonna slide your entire ash pan and your firebox back inside the smoker. And then you're going to light the charcoal from underneath. Once you light the charcoal, go ahead and close your fire door, open those vents all the way up, and make sure your hood is open as well. You're gonna let the charcoal burn for about five, 10 minutes, as hot as it wants to get. The hotter, the better. While your fire is heating up, spray the insides of this down. We use duck fat spray. Duck fat spray is great because it allows to start some initial seasoning into your smoker. After you spray the inside of the grill for the first time, go ahead and close the lid, let it cook for about five minutes or so, and repeat the process again. You're gonna wanna repeat these steps for about 20 to 30 minutes. During the initial burn, you wanna make sure you put your heat deflector back in as well as your cooking grills or any other parts that you wanna cook on. This helps burn those oils off those things as well. We really do recommend for the first few times that you cook, to cook with something that has a higher fat content. That really will kick off the seasoning inside of your grill. Once you've repeated the burn-in process for about 20 to 30 minutes, you're ready to go. The process is complete and you're ready to start cooking.